Oi. The presidential race in Ukraine is down to two after Sunday's election produced no outright winner. Preliminary results show opposition leader Viktor Yanukovych and Prime Minister Yulia Tymoshenko came top, and they'll go ahead. Ha, they will go head to head in a second round runoff in just under three weeks. Sitting President Viktor Yushchenko is out of the running, coming in fifth place. Artist Sean Thomas is in Kiev right now, joining us. Hello to Sean. So it's going to be. A two-horse race. How big was the gap between the front runners in Sunday's poll? Uh, that is certainly true. And then there was two, so they say. Um, the gap in the short answer is there's about 11 points between the front runner Yanukovych and uh, the current prime minister Yulia Tymoshenko. But it's a much more interesting story if you look at the entire process and uh, how this has all played out. It all started with 18 candidates, including one that changed his name to against all, uh, just to make sure that that candidate stood out uh, from the others. Uh, in, in the end, it didn't really work, uh, and it came down to two. Here's the breakdown, with 90 percent of the votes having been counted so far, according to the Ukrainian Election Commission. Uh, Yanukovych is in the lead with 35.39 uh, percent of the vote. Uh, Yulia Tymoshenko is uh, in second place with 24.97 uh, percent of the vote. And here's something that's interesting. The current uh, incumbent, the current president of uh, Ukraine, uh, also running for re-election, not even in the running, did not make it to the runoff uh, with only a little bit over 5 percent of the vote, and that vote, and that would be Yushchenko. So an interesting story, uh, and it's going to be uh, even more interesting because the two front runners have had a very bitter and uh, mudslinging battle uh, in this first election. So they fought hard, and uh, we're going to see them fight even harder uh, in the next uh, three weeks or so. My uh, uh, the champagne corks are not popping just yet. Despite early results giving opposition leader Viktor Yanukovych around a third of the overall vote, the mood was hardly celebratory in the leading candidate's headquarters. That's because the party of the region's leader understands this is where the battle really starts. I have nothing against those who voted for Timoshenko and other candidates. I would like to assure them that in my future work I will do my best to prove that I was the right choice for the country. In his main opponent's camp, feelings were a little more festive. Prime Minister Yulia Tymoshenko believes she's succeeding in closing the gap on her nearest rival. I'm happy to see that more than 60 percent of voters cast their ballots for the Democratic candidates. I can assure those that voted for Yatsenyuk, Tigipka and others that I will bring them the change they need if they vote for me. I can say that Yanukovych suffered a loss in his campaign. One of the biggest intrigues in this round was who would come third. It may not matter now, but could prove vital for the runoff. That man is tycoon Sergei Tigipka. The presidential outsider put up what was seen by many as a very strong campaign. But now he's urging his supporters not to back either Yanukovych or Timoshenko in the second round. I've been in politics for some time, as economics minister and other posts, and I haven't seen any progress towards smarter politics from either of them. There was definitely gloom in the air at the incumbent president's camp. Despite Viktor Yushchenko's own confidence of victory, most analysts predicted he'd fall at the first round. Early indications put him fifth on just 6%. The fate of the presidency of Ukraine should be decided in three weeks when the nation goes to the polls again. Experts predict a tough race and a bitterly fought campaign, as the front runners have been saving their strength. And both stand equally strong chances of emerging as winners on February the 7th. For now, no expert would put money on who would take the helm in Ukraine. But one thing is certain. In February, there will be someone new behind these walls, those of Presidential Secretariat of Ukraine, to end a certain era in the country's political life. Alexei Roshevsky, RT, Kiev, Ukraine. Now, the now election it's interesting to has point been out. declared valid with uh, around 67 percent of eligible voters casting their ballots, but still it's a lower turnout than the country's last presidential election. What are the reasons for this? Uh, well, uh, quite simply, uh, voter apathy, if, if that makes any sense. If you to understand that, you have to look at the events uh, five years ago from the Orange Revolution. Uh, when. Uh, 
Yanukovych was first elected president, and then there were the allegations of uh, rigging the election and voter fraud. Uh, basically, uh, people came here to Independence Square, where we are right now, in mass. And five years ago, there were more than a million people here protesting, demanding something different. They wanted change. Uh, in the wake of that, the Orange Revolution, Yushchenko, the current leader, was elected in an unprecedented third runoff. Uh, but then the promises that he uh, delivered to the people, he did not deliver during his uh, campaign, or so the people say, and they have said this, through their vote. Um, and so that many people coming, demanding change, there was a sense of hope, there was a sense throughout the country that things were going to change for Ukraine, that it would become more aligned uh, with the European Union. And with such a failure to follow through on those promises, uh, people just became apathetic, feeling that their vote really didn't make a difference anyway. In fact, uh, some polls suggest that uh, the majority of people in Ukraine thought that this election would be rigged as well. Uh, so that might explain why people uh, didn't come to the votes for this election. But as you mentioned, 67 percent does make it a legitimate election, and uh, the observers saying that it seems pretty legitimate so far. Uh, so things have run pretty smooth for this presidential election and expected to do so as well uh, for the February 7th runoff. Thanks a lot for that, Sean. We'll be bringing you the latest on the election throughout the day.